My name is Ferlin Webster Jr. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. I'm 28 years old and I have been a Christian for a little over nine years. I grew up in a Christian home, so I knew about the Lord at an early age. My mother taught us really well and my father taught us too. And I, but, but I wasn't born again until I was 19 years old. And for those first years, I guess you can say years, I guess it's zero through 19, um, I, I knew that I needed the Lord. I knew that I needed the Lord Jesus Christ and that he was the only way to salvation, the only way to heaven. But I wanted to live the life um, of the world. I wanted to experience different sins and uh, just, stay, just stay in the world and do whatever I wanted to do. Um, I, you know, I, want, I wanted to girls. I wanted to, you know, just, you know, listen to all kinds of different music that didn't honor God. Um, just things that didn't please God at all. Um, I remember when I, um, remember when I was 14 years old, I thought I had given my life to the Lord. Um, I remember it was like right after 9-11 had happened and I was afraid that, um, the terrorists was going, terrorists was, terrorists were going to come and, um, fly the planes through my high school. And I was, uh, just afraid like at church one day and, um, they were, were preach was preaching on that. So I went up to the altar and thought I had given my life to the Lord. And I really did not. You know, I, I believe there's a difference between true conversion and false conversion. And if a person just wants to come to the Lord because they want everything to be okay, um, that a lot of times they can deceive themselves into thinking they've received him or that they've um, repented of their sin. Um, and, I, and I didn't repent, really, I didn't re repent of my sin. I just wanted to not get killed by terrorists. So it had nothing to do with wanting to go after the Lord. It just had everything to do with me just... I guess preserving myself, so to speak. Um, but you know, as the years went by, you know, right after that happened, I went right back into all the sins that I was involved with. I could care less. I was like, man, I don't want to tell anybody I got saved. I mean, I'll be embarrassed, you know. So I just went back, right back into doing what I wanted to do. It wasn't until five years later that the Lord got a hold of me. I was 19 years old, and. I remember I was in culinary school, and just like in culinary school, I'd be doing my prep work, you know, prep work for cooking. And every time I would do my prep work, I would be thinking about how I wanted to have a relationship with Christ, how I wanted to be closer, or clo have a right, be in right standing with the Father. And I, it would bother me. It would really bother me, and I would be in deep thought. And um, even when I was at work, because I worked for one of the chefs at the um, at the at the culinary school, and. I, when I walk around a restaurant, I would be thinking, um, like, man, I, I really want a, a right relationship with God. And, if, like, this happened for about three months. And um, there's a situation uh, just, like, being involved with different sins. And, you know, like, there, there was this one particular day when I had committed a particular sin. And I, I, I remember I drove past my church. And, um, you know, it wasn't because I just drove past the church that the church had some type of... Um, I guess impact on me, but it just made me think about God, and, uh, and it was just thinking. And my mind was like, you know, I, I can't continue to do this. You know, it really bothered me for the first time in my life of you know commit sinning against God. Um, I just remember driving home, and it, it just it troubled me all the way home, and just just thinking about the fact that I had sinned against God bothered me. And, it, and it, as I think about it right now, I was just thinking like, like wow, you know, for for all these years in my life, just sinning, you know, I could care less, you know. But this first time, for the first time, you know, it started to bother me. And I remember, I don't remember what day that was, but a few days later, it was a Sunday. I was born again. A few days later, not, not long after that, I remember I was in church, sitting in the back, and um, and I attended church on weekly, like with with my mother and my sister and my father, and you know. I remember sitting there, and one of these um, preachers, a visiting um, preacher, he was speaking of his testimony and talking about how he was born again. And he was saying um, that he had a situation where he was, like, calling his girl's phone, and um, her father answered the phone. He said if, her, if, her, if she answered the phone, then he would go out and do some partying. And if her father answered the phone, he would, you know, tell him, you know, I want to be saved, you know, because it was really troubling him. He wanted to be saved as well, and her father was a pastor. And he said when he, when he called her, it's funny because it's all coming back to me right now. When he called her, um, the, her, fa her father answered the phone, and um, he started talking with, with him about a couple of things. And um, as he was talking with him, he said he told him, "I want to be saved." And then the father asked, "Like, what did you say?" And he said, "I want to be saved." 
And that really, like, because because of what I was going through at the time and how I really want a relationship with God, that really touched my heart and it, it, it broke me down. And um, in my eyes started pouring tears. I remember sitting there, was thinking like, you know, I want to be saved as well. And I was crying and I was just thinking like all these different sins that I was, you know, wanting to keep and um, just stay involved in were coming across my mind. But there was one particular sin I remember I asked the Holy Spirit. I said, this is looking back on it. It was a it saying that the Holy Spirit was um, speaking to me. But I remember I was asking God, I was thinking like, uh, like how how can I overcome this sin? Like what about this sin? And I could feel in my heart, the Lord saying to me, that's nothing for me to take care of. And I walked up to the altar. You know, right after that, you just like I had a peace about it. And I walked up to the altar and uh, repented of my sin and um, trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ. So Christ is somebody you should pay absolute attention to. As it says in the book of Romans, none who have believed in him have ever been disappointed. And if you trust in Christ, you will not be disappointed either. And my name is Ferlin Webster Jr. And I am a born-again Christian. <laughs>